everyone. This is Jill from Boomer Tech Adventures, and I would like to show you today how you can set up reminders to yourself to do certain tasks that are repetitive. It might be taking your allergy medicine every day or giving your dog her heartworm pills once a month or set a time to water your garden. Lots of different things we do on a repetitive nature and our devices can help us remember to do those things in a timely fashion. Now I'm on my iPad and what I'm going to show you also works on the iPhone. Except for this first thing. You notice that over on the left I have a series of gray boxes. One says up next, then it says reminders, and then it says calendars. That's because I've set up in settings a way to see these reminders every day when I open my iPad. It doesn't work on the iPhone, but let me show you what you need to do if you want these reminders or widgets to pop up. So I'm going to go to settings, which is the gray icon with the gear. And when I get there, I'm going to scroll down to home screen and dock. And when I do that, you see over on the right, I have the option, keep today view on home screen. So I've got that on and uh, that's what causes those gray boxes to show up. Okay, let's move on. So three ways you can set up reminders. You can use your alarm on the clock app. You can use your reminders app, or you can use your calendar app. So I'm going to start with the calendar app. You see it's in the top row. Second one from the left says Tuesday the 15th. So I'm going to tap that. And I want to add something new. Uh, I'm going to add allergy pills. So I'm going to tap on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and I get this dialog box. And so I'm going to fill in the information I need to. So allergy pills. Okay. It's not an all day. I want to start it today. And, but if I tap on here, you see, I can start it. Oh, if I want to start it uh, Saturday, September 19th, and I want to do it at, you see, 9 a.m. You see how I've set that? It's kind of like a roller dex. Um, now, what's important is it says repeat. Right now it's set on never. But if I do that, you see I have every day, every week, every two weeks, uh, once a month, every year. So I'm going to say, let's see, every day. I need to take those pills every day. And I can even set an alert. So um, I'm going to a set alert 30 minutes before, just to remind me that I need to take the pill at nine o'clock. So when I'm done, I'm going to hit add, and you will notice now on my calendar, allergy pills is there every day. So that's how you can set it up on the calendar. Now what about an alarm, all right? So I'm going to go to clock, I'm going to hit alarm, and again I'm going to hit a plus, and this I just need to rem uh, remember uh, that I need to do something when the alarm goes off. So uh, I'm going to set it for, um, let's say, 1.30, all right, 1.30 p.m. Then again, I have the option repeat. Okay, every Sunday, every Monday, I keep going through. What are my options? And I can say I want to do it every Sunday. 
So then I can go back. I can label it if I want. I can change the sound. I can leave the uh, snooze button on and then I save it. Well, what if I wanted to make that every day? Can I put more than one day in? So where did I have that? Okay. Um, here it is, 1.30 p.m. All right, let's say I want to change that. I'm going to go up to Edit in the upper left-hand corner. And I can change that. And I'm going to go back, Repeat. And you see, I can put every day in and it will do it. And then I go back and I got to remember to hit save in the upper right hand corner of the little box. And now that alarm is going to go off 1.30 p.m. to remind me to do whatever, to call a child, to... Uh, sign in on my email to a company, lots of different possibilities. So that's how you can use the alarm. The last one is reminders. Now, do you notice that the alarm popped up over in my gray box? Up next, under calendar, there's going to be an alarm at 1.30 p.m. So I'm getting a double whammy for a reminder. This is especially true if you have uh, elderly parents who need to take medication every day, by helping them set up these reminders on their device, because many, many seniors and boomers now have some type of digital device, you can ensure or at least feel more confident that they will be reminded to take their pills and not forget. So the third way is reminders. Okay, so on the left, you see, uh, because I have a Yahoo account, uh, I also can do it in Yahoo, but I'm going to do it in iCloud. So I'm going to, um, actually, I'm going to tap that, and then I'm going down where it says, you may not be able to see it because sometimes the uh, screen version doesn't show up the very bottom. At very bottom, it says Add List. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it to iCloud. And I'm going to name it Medication. All right. And uh, then I'll, we'll do it in yellow. I'm done. Now, I'm going to tap on medication. There's the list name. And then it says down at the bottom. And again, you might not be able to see it, but it does say new reminder. So I'm going to tap that. And I'm going to say, um, what shall I say? Oh, a lot of people deal with blood pressure. Uh, so BP meds. And I want to set it up. So that it's a repeat. So I'm going to go over to this circle with the I. And you see I have uh, options. Remind me on a day. And um, it's got the day. It can remind me at a time. And I can change that to uh, maybe I want it at, um, oh, how about 8, 8 a.m. Okay. And then, all right, but I also want to make it a repeat. And so I can just tap daily. And the other is, you see down here, it says priority. Right now, I don't have anything set. But if I make it a high priority, look what happens. I get three exclamation marks. And that is a reminder that this is extremely important to do. So that's the third way that you can set a reminder for every day, every week, every month, whatever you need it to be. Now, once again, notice because I have those three boxes set that the BP meds has now come up. 
So that's it again for yourself or for helping parents or even kids. A reminder to do something in a repetitive time, whether again, daily, weekly, monthly, or by the year. Hope you found this helpful. Again, try it out. Your calendar, your clock, and your reminders app. They all come on both your iPhone and your iPad. They are also, by the way, if you have a Mac, laptop, or desktop, they're there too. Again, you won't see the three gray boxes on the phone. The screen's too small, but you will see it on an iPad. This has been Jill from Boomer Tech Adventures, and I thank you for watching.